All right, good morning, folks. We're going to get rolling. Uh, welcome to the Bus Patrol press conference with uh, County Executive Stuart Pittman, who will be speaking first, then Superintendent Mark Bedell, then Police Chief Amal Awad, and then Bus Patrol uh, Director of Program Management, Rich Hetherington. We'll take questions after. Thank you. Mr. County Executive. All right, well, I am Anne Arundel County Executive Stuart Pittman, and we are here at what we call Cat South. Um, Talking about some technology, some technology that is going to make our roads safer, our kids safer, and I hope give our parents some peace of mind. So we have all seen what happens when folks are in a hurry to get to work or a hurry to get somewhere. That school bus stops and the lights start flashing and people just don't want to wait and they go on by. And usually they get away with it because there's not an officer there to do anything about it and uh, there's nobody there taking pictures. So the technology that we're talking about here will be implemented uh, at the beginning of the school year. There will be a grace period, um, and then August 20, I mean, August, October 1st, uh, we're gonna start um, enforcing. But what you see is some buses here that have stop, uh, stop arms on them when the kids are getting on and off. There will be cameras on those stop arms. And if a car comes by during that time when those lights are flashing, Maryland law says that you must stop at least 20 feet away from that bus. There will be a video and there will be a, a photograph of your license plate if you do that. So that will then go to our Anne Arundel County Police and uh, there will be citations given. Um, so what, what we found or what other jurisdictions have found um, working with our, our new partners here at Bus Patrol, who you'll be hearing from, is that this actually improves behavior. Something like 30% uh, fewer violations once this program is underway and started. Um, there will be a PR campaign so people know about this. Our goal is not to raise money. Our goal is to improve behavior and make our kids safer and our roads safer. So this is just another collabor collaboration. Um, we have a great partnership with Anne Arundel County Pu Public Schools and County Government and with our police department. And uh, this has been a long time coming. We've got the right contractor bus, bus patrol who knows how to do this. And I'm looking forward to getting this underway to make our, make our roads safer. Um, give our parents some peace of mind and protect our kids. And so uh, next I have our new superintendent, just arrived this week, Dr. Bedell, and uh, I would like to welcome him up to talk about this as well. Welcome. All right. Thank you, County Executive Pittman. Uh, good morning to each and every single one of you. It's an honor to be here today as the new superintendent of Anne Arundel County Public Schools. Uh, before I enter into my remarks, I want to acknowledge a few people who are here today. Our board president, Dr. Joanna Tobin. Our vice president, uh, Mr. Robert Silkworth. Our board member, Michelle Corkadell, who I believe this is your one of your schools, right? Mm -hmm. And then our student board member, Zachary McGrath, who I've had an opportunity to meet today. So I want to thank you all for being here today uh, with this important announcement. And as you all know, uh, the role and responsibility of the superintendent and the superintendent's administration is to ensure that safety above all else prevails in terms of everything that we do in working with students. We have a responsibility to make sure that each and every single one of our students come to school safely and are able to get back home safely. And this initiative is something that is near and dear to my heart because we do recognize even in my experience in other school districts that people tend to not adhere to school buses when they are uh, parked and the sign is out. So we think that this partnership is another step in accomplishing that. Um, we are grateful to those who have invested their time, resources, and energy in making this a reality. I urge everyone who utilizes our county roads to do so in cautious manner so that we do not put our children at risk. And that, that's really the bottom line. We're just here to ensure that every single kid can get to and from school safely and transportation uh, safety is not a barrier. So I want to thank each and every single one of you. And at this time, I would invite our police chief uh, up to the podium. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Amal Awad. I serve as chief of police for Anne Arundel County. Um, school bus safety is a priority for the Anne Arundel County Police Department. Um, every time a motorist illegally passes a stopped school bus, that driver places an innocent child's life at risk. Um, there's nothing more important to us than protecting the safety of our children. A recent pilot project uh, conducted by Bus Patrol in Maryland and other states indicated that 
School buses are illegally passed by drivers anywhere between two and four times per bus per day. This is unacceptable and it's something that we can all change. It's a violation of Maryland's vehicle law to pass a school bus that stopped with its red lights flashing and the stop arm deployed. Distracted driving, using your cell phone, or rushing to work are not worth risking a child's life. No parent or guardian should ever have to worry about their child or whether or not they may make it home that evening. Uh, this back to, back to school season, uh, it's important to remind drivers to pay strict attention to our yellow school buses and look out for its flashing lights. You never know when a child may be a, uh, at that uh, point where they're crossing the street. So please be very, very cognizant of your surroundings. Um, this program will enable us to enforce stop arm violations and correct driver behavior, particularly around our children's school buses. Uh, the cameras capture the license plates of drivers who illegally pass buses. The video footage is sent to train law enforcement officers to review and verify that a violation has occurred and a citation is warranted. Uh, just for anyone who's curious, the violation will cost the vehicle's owner a $250 civil fine. Um, the bus patrol platform will also provide data so that we can be proactive, not just reactive. Um, we'll have the ability to identify locations, times of day, and even times of the year, affording us to um, access to real-time data through the cloud to see when and where bus camera stop arm violations are occurring. Um, what does this mean? Um, we'll be able to deploy police officers to ensure the safety of our children and dissuade drivers from illegally passing school bus in high-risk areas at high-risk times. Um, through education and enforcement, this program will effectively change uh, most, well, we're hopeful that it'll change all motorist behavior. Um, da the data reflects that 98% of offenders who are caught uh, do not receive a second citation. This demonstrates that together we can change driver behavior here in the state of Maryland. Um, we're proud to be working with the Anne Arundel County Public School System and Bus Patrol uh, to tackle this issue. Um, and if I may just offer a few pointers for our parents, we can't emphasize enough um, please teach your children. Unfortunately, they too must be a bit defensive when making their way to and from the school bus. Um, just to use extreme caution around the school bus, uh, children should never walk behind a school bus. Um, and if your child must cross the street in front of the bus, advise your child to walk on a sidewalk or along the side of a street, along the side of the street, and to place at least five giant steps in front of the bus before crossing. Um, your child should also and make eye contact with the bus driver before crossing to make sure the driver can see him or her. Um, if your child drops something near the school bus, like a book, the safest thing is for your child to tell the school bus driver and not attempt to pick up whatever it is that he or she has dropped at that time. Um, and lastly, please remind your children to always look both ways, look left, look right, um, double check just to make sure that, the, uh, their, that their pathway is clear before they cross the street. And we just ask that you help us, help everyone, ensure the safety of your most precious cargo, our most precious cargo, our children. Thank you. And I turn it over to Mr. Bus Patrol. Forgot my name already. Last name. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have it written down. That's okay. Good morning, everybody. My name is Rich Hetherington. I'm with Bus Patrol. I'm the Director of Program Management. And what that means is that all of our programs across the country have a dedicated program manager assigned to it and all of those people uh, work for me. Um, I'm very happy and, and proud to be here. Uh, proud because for, for a lot of reasons. One, I have the pleasure of working for a company who is completely dedicated to the mission of protecting children, uh, which is uh, near and dear to me. I spent my whole adult life in law enforcement. Um, I've ridden motorcycles, I've done all those things. I've done the overtime assignments uh, for trying to enforce people stopping or not stopping for school buses and it's very frustrating when you're out there doing it and you stop one car and as you're writing them the ticket you see 10 more go past. Um, so through automated enforcement it makes it much safer for the officers because we don't need them out there making traffic stops. It's safer for the motorists and we capture all the violations. So. Um, 
our model is that we outfit all the buses. There's more than 750 buses here in Anne Arundel County, and we'll have cameras on all of them, as we do in our other partners here in Maryland. We, we have a long history here. We do this in Montgomery and PG and Charles and uh, Queen Anne's, um, Somerset, Cecil. We have a long history here in Maryland, and we're very happy to have Anne Arundel as a, as a partner with us. They've been great to work with up to this point. I expect us to have a, a tremendous relationship going forward. Um, as the chief said and, and the superintendent said, the benefits to this are many. Our goal is to um, change driver behavior, and we can only do that with um, that omnipotent presence, the deterrent effect, because uh, we're combating several things here. Speeding, distracted driving, everybody's in a rush um, so we use education and enforcement as a way to change driver behavior and it's pretty effective we see reductions everywhere that we've been we have a, a very low recidivism rate uh, we have great technology um, not only are we able to change driver behavior of potential offending motorists but we're actually able to change behavior of bus drivers uh, we see some things in the video sometime that can be a little troubling in what the bus drivers are doing out there. Bus drivers are great people. They always have the best interest of the kids at heart, but in that vein of trying to do what's best to protect the kids, sometimes we see things that probably could be more problematic than helpful. Um, so we have a great relationship with the transportation departments. We, we share that video with them, and they use it to um, educate the drivers. My program managers, in fact, one today is down in Queen Anne's County doing bus driver in-service training, where we use these examples to show what we've seen uh, that the drivers are doing that can be corrected in terms of placement of the bus, intersections, that kind of thing. So it's, it's really a, a great concept, and we, we can affect the issue in a lot of different ways. So we're very happy to be here. Uh, we hope to reduce the number of violations in the county, hopefully dramatically. Uh, the chief said we'd like to have none. Um, we know that's probably not ever going to happen, but we'd like to reduce it as low as we can. And this is a great way to do it. Um, I'll touch on something the chief mentioned. These are civil violations. There's not points on your license and all that. Uh, if one of the Anne Arundel County PD officers pulls you over for passing a school bus, there's a $535 fine and three points on your license. Uh, this is not that. This is a civil violation, kind of like a parking ticket. It doesn't go on your driving record. It doesn't go to your insurance company. It's a civil violation. The registered owner of the vehicle is ultimately responsible um, for the violation. Uh, in Maryland, we're fortunate. There's a transfer of liability. If they weren't driving it and their child was or whomever, they can submit that back to us. We'll reissue the violation to the, to the person who's actually driving the car. Um, and people can contest it in court. They would ask for a, a court date and they'll go to the district court here in Anne Arundel and they'll hear it like they would any other traffic violation. Um, so um, I don't have any other great points of information to give you guys, although I'll be here to answer questions or Thank show you the yourself. technology. We'll turn it over. We'll take a few questions. Any and questions? before we do, I have one, one more um, little tidbit of information, particularly for parents. Um, uh, this technology, in addition to the, to the cameras on the, the stop arms, has safety cameras in the buses, um, and that'll be a help to the aides that are there who always do a great job as well. Um, but uh, uh, these are not videos that will be shared publicly, but um, they could be used um, um, in certain situations. And, uh, and in addition to that, there's GPS tracking um, on these, and uh, there will be at some point an app that parents can use to find out where their bus is, um, and that will, I think, give parents peace of mind as well. Um, and also an emergency response system as well, yes. um, if there's an accident or something where help is needed that's part of this technology. So, um, right. any questions? questions? Um, you I guess up front a, um, I guess a grace period or a, a, I guess a warning period. Can you go more into that timeline of like, I guess how long that grace period is and then when you start issuing uh, citations? So my, you want me to? Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, my understanding is that um, the cameras will be there, uh, and they they will be active when school starts August 29th. But it's not until October 1st that actual citations will be issued. Is that correct? Yeah. And there will be a PR campaign to educate drivers during that time. When you do start issuing citations, do you have any idea of how quickly that turnaround will be? I guess 
when you know picture is taken, reviewed by officer, and then citation issued. So in different states, the the law is different. In Maryland, we have 14 days from the time of the violation to get it mailed out to the violator. So it will go through our internal review process and Arundel County's you know, review process to make the final determination on whether or not it's a violation or not. Then we get it back and we mail it out to the violator. But we have to have all that done in 14 days. Monitor yeah, um, I can't speak exactly for Anne Arundel because we don't have that kind of data because obviously we're just getting started here. Um, the thing that was most horrifying to me when I started in doing this, um, both as a, as a customer and now as working for the company, um, was the number of close calls. Um, we had videos of a, a child crossing the street, bus had been stopped with the red lights on, in a crosswalk. The child looked both ways, stepped off the curb, and a car comes whizzing past. And a, and a kid behind him saw it, grabbed him by the jacket, and pulled him back off the road. And seeing these by the hundreds every school year, they never get reported. There's really nothing to report, so you don't hear about them. Uh, Montgomery has had a couple kids hit. Um, last, two years ago? Do you think, um, you somebody from the county wants to try that question? You, well, we, you may have data. I, I, and they can get, the, the police department will get to you with any statistics, but there was an incident in Anne Arundel County where a, um, a teenage girl was, um, was hit, had a concussion. That's one of the reasons that we pursued this. It was earlier in my administration, and um, um, one is too many. I can't remember. I'll get it to you. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yep. Well, my, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, so um, you, if you have been following communications coming from the school district, I would say over the last four to five weeks, we put out a weekly update that goes out to our parents, uh, staff members, teachers, schools, and community at large. And we were, when we started, probably around 73 vacancies. That number currently, when we put the next update out, will probably drop to 64. We also have a number of people in the pipeline. Uh, the turnaround to get people through is about a six week process. Not every single one of them will get through because it is a pretty rigorous process in order to be able to drive school buses. Uh, and so we do anticipate that at, at the beginning of this school year, we will, we will start off with some route vacancies, but there's van pooling uh, things that we're doing. There'll be a number of things that we're doing differently this year um, to try to help offset some of what happened last year. And, and some of the moves that we've already made have already increased uh, ridership on our buses. I think there was a study that was done prior to my starting where it was showing about 29 students per uh, route. Um, and some of that is because we have singleton routes where we have to pick up McKinney Vento students, we have to pick up uh, uh, students that need specialized transportation and services and that, that does reduce the ridership percentage. But we think we've gotten that ridership uh, rate up over 40 students on the bus, so we're becoming much more efficient from that standpoint. What we will do is as we get closer to school, and we've already talked about this as a team, um, we want to make sure that uh, we do have a call out to the community. Like we're, We all have to be in this together. The shortage is just not an Anne Arundel thing. It is every surrounding school district here it was the same case in the school district that I came from. We, I was driving students last year as a superintendent in Kansas City. So it is a national issue that we're dealing with right now, but I think our county is, is doing a wonderful job of looking at doing things differently based on what happened last year.